Hi, I'm Lisa Breezy, founder of State of the Heart Fitness. And today we are going to do a breathing meditation around the crown chakra. The crown chakra is the seventh of seven chakras in the body. Its associated color is violet, and it is located at the top of our head, our crown. It is the chakra that relates to thought, consciousness, information, and intelligence. It is concerned with the way we think, our belief systems, and our connection to our higher power. This is the place where we seek to understand, embody, and enhance. It is here that we examine our thoughts, our beliefs, and our process of receiving, analyzing, and storing information. The examination of consciousness itself. So let's go ahead and start our meditation. Find yourself in a comfortably seated position with your back tall, shoulders directly over your hips, your eyes are closed. Let's bring our awareness to our breathing. Long, slow, deep breaths through the nose, down deep into the lungs, feeling the rib cage expand as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, Slowly follow that breath back out through your nose. Breathing in once again, fill those lungs to capacity. Pause at the top of the breath, feel the energy, hold it there. And then as you slowly exhale, follow that breath back out through the nose on the exhale. Letting go of any tension you might be holding on to, either in your face, your jaw, your neck, your shoulders, your back. Giving yourself permission to letting it go, to releasing it. Noticing the difference as you continue to breathe. Feel the difference in your body on the inhale as you bring new energy in. And then as you exhale, feel how it feels in the body. Let's take that breath even deeper into our heart space, into that calm, quiet place inside, just behind the heart. Your place of inner strength, inner calm, inner power. That sanctuary that is just for you, that place that cannot be touched by the outer world. Breathe into that heart space. Feel it. And then let's take that breath even deeper into the abdomen, into our belly. Imagine that balloon in your belly and as you breathe in, you expand your abdomen, feeling the energy, feeling the breath, and then pause at the top of the breath. Hold it there. And then slowly follow that breath back out through your nose. As you draw your navel towards your spine, you feel your abdominals contract. Continuing with those long, slow, deep breaths into those lungs, into the heart space, into your abdomen. As you exhale, following that breath slowly back all the way through the nose. And then let's bring our awareness to our crown, to our crown chakra, to that violent glow radiating above our head. See that energy, that violet energy, reaching towards the heavens, radiating like a halo. This is our true connection to divine source. This is where we perceive ourselves from the highest place. This is where our belief patterns and our faith lies. This is where we examine who we are at the highest level. What do we believe and why? What have we been programmed to believe? By whom and why? 
Do these beliefs resonate truth within us? And if not, do we have the courage to let them go, to expand our thoughts, to expand our idea of who we are? To allow the divine to show us something more about who we are, to show us who we truly are as a spiritual being having a physical experience on this planet. As we breathe into this crown chakra, we see that violet energy intensifying, radiating out even further. As we feel that connection to our source, we become one with source. We recognize that all has divine purpose. There is not one thing that happens that isn't connected, that doesn't have purpose, that isn't for our own awakening and growth and expansion. That in the biggest picture, all is as it should be. All is divine. All is a creation on some level of our soul for the sole purpose of learning, of growing, of becoming the powerful being that we were born to be. When we come into this body, we come straight from this pure consciousness. We hold on to this pure consciousness as children until it is programmed out of us, unfortunately. The process of awakening and enlightening ourselves is bringing ourselves back, remembering who we are in our divinity, in our ultimate truth, moving beyond just the physical and recognizing the bigger picture. When we stay just in the physical, it is hard to understand and comprehend why things happen the way they do. We take things personally. We think the universe has made a mistake. But when we come from our crown chakra, we open ourselves to faith, to the mystery, to knowing that nothing happens by accident or chance. All of it is for our discovery to open ourselves to who we ultimately are. So let's bring all the chakras together. As we breathe in on this next breath, let's take that breath all the way down to our feet where we connect with this amazing planet Earth. Feel its strength, its stability, its roots. Feel our anchoredness in its core. Feel that energy, that red base chakra energy coming up through our feet, through our legs, into our lower back, anchoring us strong. Taking that red base chakra energy and color up into our sacral chakra, into the orange vibrant energy, that place where we connect and share with others. We express our creativity. We find joy in expressing ourselves connecting with others. We take that orange, vibrant, sacral energy up into our third solar plexus chakra, the golden yellow energy, our purpose, our sense of will, our desire to act and bring our personal power into the world. And then we take that energy up into our heart chakra, feeling the love, radiating that green energy where we feel that interconnection with everyone and everything and we give and receive freely. We feel balanced as we recognize that the heart chakra is what balances the three physical chakras with the three spiritual chakras. 
Now we're going to see that green, vibrant heart chakra energy move up into the blue turquoise throat chakra, the place where we express our truth, where we express our creativity. We express ourselves authentically with compassion. We harmonize with each other through sound, through song. We take that blue turquoise energy up and we breathe it into the third eye, the chakra of indigo, the place of our imagination and intuition, the place that allows us to see beyond our physical eyes and have a deeper sense and knowing that comes when we look and see through our spiritual eyes. And then we take that indigo energy up into the crown chakra, into that violet flame. And we see that energy reaching out to the depths of the universe. It is that place that connects us to pure consciousness, to pure knowingness, to pure spirit. And we feel the interconnection with everyone and everything. And we see and feel ourselves with all of our chakras radiating freely and effortlessly. Our colors are vibrant. We reach out, connect with other people's colors and chakras. And again, feeling that interconnection, feeling the love, feeling the energy exchange, surrounding the planet with this life as we stand in our truth, in our power, and we breathe. Long, slow, deep breaths. Breathing in gratitude for who we are, that we are a divine spirit walking in this physical world, experiencing this amazing thing called life. Breathing in gratitude through the crown chakra all the way down to the base chakra, to the tailbone. And as we exhale, taking that energy all the way back up through the crown. Taking a few more long, slow, deep breaths. Feeling the peace. Feeling your connection. feeling your authentic self. And when you are ready, you can slowly open your eyes as you take this energy out into the world and share who you are. Namaste. Namaste.